Hi, I'm Schwartzy of Schwartzy.com. This is the H3 Hummer auxiliary input right here in my hand. Uh, and I'm gonna quick show you how to install it. So first things first, I got my little ratchet right here. Well, yeah, not exactly little, this thing certainly makes it easier. I'm using a seven millimeter six-sided socket. Uh, there's three bolts on the bottom. And then there's this little guy right here. We drop the glove box, flip it down, and then install the harness. So let's get started. This is a real quick install. So first I'll start by just removing the three bolts. So right along the bottom, exposed, nothing to them. All right, all three bolts are out. Hold the glove box as you drop it down. Just take this little leash right here, just pop it out. It's off like that. And there you go, glove box drops. All right, let's continue on to flipping down this. So basically there's a piece of plastic in here, careful with your hands. There's some sharp metal in there. There we go, and this just flips down. All right, let me move the camera underneath so you can see what I'm up to. All right, guys, continuing on, all we gotta do is disconnect the little connector right here, little blue tab right there, pull it out, and then you can pinch the black tab and it comes right out. All right, so next you grab your harness. Let's connect the XM first, guys, that way you re reduce the chance of shorting stuff out. So all you do is slide it in, push that blue tab in, and then do the same to here. There we go. XM is connected and it's ready to go. All right guys, continuing on. All we gotta do is reinstall the glove box. I recommend grabbing this cord first and installing that. Yeah, it's the camera and all this is a challenge. There we go, slide it into its spot. It'll snap, okay. Take your hands towards the bottom of the glove box. And then just line those holes up. Something's in the way. There we go. All right, guys. So here we go. We got the bottom of the glove box lined up. You can see those holes. So let's start with the center one. There we go. Don't take much torque to get these right. Okay. All right, there you go, it's all installed. Continuing on. All right guys, so now that the auxiliary input is installed and ready to go, all we have to do is just plug a headphone jack in and it'll start working. But let me show you, XM is untouched. So I turn it on, XM1. Also notice that you do not need XM for this to work. All I have is radio ID and XM preview. So, as you can hear, all right, so I just use a little adapter because my cell phone doesn't have the headphone jack anymore, no big deal. All right, second I plug it in, audio signal's knocked out. Now, funny to you guys, uh, I, I guess I would like to explain, uh, I played Red Hot Chili Peppers last time I did this with the video, and then uh, YouTube caught it over the radio and forced me to have advertisements on my video. I'm so sorry about that guys. Anyway, so here we go. So as you can see, working fine. Let me skip ahead to my favorite part. So hopefully Google doesn't know this song. Pretty rare that you would know that. So as you can see, pause, play. There's no cheating here. So there you go. Quick, easy installs in just a few minutes. Like I said, I recommend drilling a little hole here, super glue or hot glue. That's how I had it for a long time, but I've moved on to a different radio unit. I now use the Sony something or another that has Android Auto and CarPlay. I'll show you guys that. Uh, should have that released soon. Basically comes with a backup camera and a mount and it's all plug and play. Everything still works. And best of all, it uses that factory microphone. All right guys, later.